Hello. Hi. It's the last day of Minecon. We're at the Disney Hotel because we we have to get rid of luggage because it's way too heavy. There's a lake. Uh, that's not a lake. A little pond. That's better. Want to show you my chaos badge yet? Yeah? Your chaos badge? Yeah. What's Pants. that? What's that? Big box, a square box, chaos badge. What have you on it? Oh. But like four by four, it's a four by four grid. So I got four different buttons, you like different layouts. No, I didn't know that. I'll show you later. I haven't seen barely any Minecon people today. What? Yeah. Um, what sizes do they do the t-shirt? I don't know. They probably have loads of different sizes. They're in X, 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 a large view for you, though. Right. Let's try and avoid going through the uh, the uh, bag checking again. Like, let's try and avoid. We'll just walk straight out. We'll go, no, we'll go around here. No, no. Yeah. We don't. We don't want to go through the village. Do that airplane. Yeah, if we go around this way, we can skip it all. What airplane game I play? Oh, it's, uh, ah, uh, Guns of Icarus. Uh, they're two different types of games. You can't buy scrolls. Okay, we have to go this way. Well, yeah, it does say exit this way. But I don't really see what's the problem. Well, at least we're in the village area. When does school just come out? Uh, I'm not sure. Soon. Really? Yeah. They might give some more codes away to people who came to Minecon. They did it last year. Yes. It's a good game. So you didn't even know how to play, and they're going, Yeah, I'm doing really good. And that was the person before you that was playing. Who knew what they were doing? People just looking at me like, what the hell is that kid doing? Uh, right, let's not go through there and let's go around so we can actually get out of this place. So we're going to go to the the um, MC PVP because if you do, if you participate, you get a T-shirt, and if you win you get a uh, Alienware laptop. I'll so, win. Huh? I'll win. Yeah, you, right. You think you're going to win. When was the last time you played Minecraft? A year ago. A year ago, okay. Have you ever played PvP before? Yeah. How many times? Once. Once. And I won the game. And Right, and you think you're going to win this time? Yeah, because you see the people in the queue. Like, half of my participants get free shirt. That's what we're doing. Yeah, but I reckon I can what see if it. there's no shirts? What are we gonna do? I'm still gonna play just the same. I want to go to Jinx and buy loads of stuff. We'll do that I got, later. I got a hundred. Oh wait, hang on. How many euros did I have then? So I spent fifty. One hundred and seventy. Oh yeah, that was it. I had one hundred and seventy, and now I got one hundred and twenty left. So I'm gonna buy loads of Jinx stuff, like sixty pound worth of stuff. There's a creeper! He put his thing down. Right, I'm gonna stop the video until there's something interesting going on. Fun in Hollywood! Oh god, it's gonna be loud. <laughs> I, I think that's probably a good example of, of putting putting your content out and like working on something that it didn't you didn't just start with Minecraft style and this totally animated thing with your first video. It was like this progression of them getting bigger and better and, and 
was crazy. Actually, a lot of that to uh, the name of David and he, I mean, all the other models and assets are red, all the way up to the Minecraft style, and all the people in the Minecraft style we assisted with a huge amount of the animation, so a huge thank you to him. We should be here, but uh, for now, a virtual chat I have to do all the money. And how did you meet David? Through uh, YouTube. That is amazing, actually, how how this virtual sort of thing is able to bring so many people together. I mean, obviously, right here is a perfect example of people coming from all, all over the world and with, a, with a common interest and sort of meeting each other. And I'm sure that many of the people here will have met people who now will play with them when they get back home, go on servers, go on some stuff, play PvP, whatever it may be. Um, and it's awesome to see that this So after TNT went out, like I saw that it was doing so well and so popular, I figured, well, I have to do another. Um, but I wanted to grab the throwing in. This place is huge. This is the way the animated parts of uh, TNT is these really basic blind rigs over a transparent background that I just eyeball from the perspective that it should be in the costume in the scene. And it's just... So what advice would you give someone who's just starting out or who has their channel and they kind of want to take it to the next level or do do something How what would you tell them? I would say that you should A be doing something that you enjoy doing. And once you're doing that, then try to do something that goes sort of above and beyond uh, what everyone else is doing. So if you want to do something like, say, recording yourself in a game and you're writing over while you do it, um, that's an awesome thing to do. Uh, but if you can if you go above and beyond that somehow, I can't tell you what that is because I'm always trying to figure it out myself, but if you can figure out something really to differentiate it, that is the best way to do it. So that, if I have to give sort of one concise piece of advice, it would be to try to do something that differentiates yourself, gives your content higher production value, and makes people want to watch you over anyone else out there. Cool. So we're going to take a few questions. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have any for Jordan, I think uh, normally it's over here. But maybe I didn't cue them for this. Sorry, Mike. Uh, yeah, right over there. So if you have a question. If you're back too far in line, then you probably just want to not wait too long because it he'll we'll only be able to get to a couple of them. But try to just ask uh, something quickly so we can get through as many as possible. So the, the music videos were made using well, to start off Kansas with Blender and then on um, since then it has been a lot. Thanks. Uh, what is your daytime job? My daytime job is doing this. I guess. <laughs>
conspiracy theorists out there debunked. I apologize. Do you, do any other YouTubers up to us, like a role models, or do you act as a role models anyone? I mean, I, I try my best to sort of take my own path and, and do enough to differentiate myself so that uh, people will want to watch me. What's, that, what's happening? I mean, I think it's the inspiration from What's people, everyone, like, standing here for? No, before I even started it, and then I saw them posting these videos with their Yeah, with Captain Swarthy, isn't it? They want to be, like, 10, 15 people I haven't watched in Yeah, what are they? Um, it's a pull ball. Now, uh, final pull ball. Yeah, so if I have a Jeb's coming this way. Well, uh, uh, the, the horse is from the bone creatures, which, when I just had it installed, I completely cleaned it out. I was working a little bit, and I didn't really think about it. I'm going to try to, since then, make a weekly video sort of based on just things that are easy. It's a tournament that's going on. That's just a slip in. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there are like a couple of birds in TNT, but not mistaken, at certain points that just got in there. Uh, and anyway, as far as like favorite mine, are you looking for something that uh, is a utility mod or something it? that's like a little creature that adds some new cool things? Give me all these things. That's <laughs> mine. I probably have to go with either the zombies mod or Lol. something like not enough items. Give me one. We're going for utility as so far as uh, I can do the boat. Cold ball. Uh, oh, I the was super cool. So it's a tournament over here. Yeah, yeah. And there's uh, there's also one like right now we'll so that was really right Yeah, let's walk around. As far as I can tell, it's super awesome. Okay, thank you. Uh, so the version of the game you started playing Minecraft? It was Alpha uh, little something. There were a lot of numbers in the title during Alpha, and I can't remember them all, but it was in Alpha. Thank you. I have two questions for you. The first one is the big cooperation. I didn't know there was a cobalt tournament. I would have done that. I like cobalt. It's very fun. Oh wow, look at these mouse pads. So, it's more fun to do YouTubers. I think certainly it is. So much of the videos that I have made are reliant upon other people that are helping out with behind the scenes or actually being in the video or talking. My friend is Mark and Nate are in tons of videos that I've posted and they help out tremendously just being able to sort of make it back amongst each other. Um, and the sort of personalities in my head is the greatest thing. I've never seen a lot of YouTube. Certainly trying to find other people who can have a little bit. We've got Vox is over there again. He's standing over there. Bebop Vox, the person we saw yesterday. I think we're just going to have to do one. Oh, I've already got one. Okay. Oh no, he's not doing signatures. There's a Cobalt tournament. Is there anyone else over there around? I can't see. So, to eventually I have to just... I think the person won on Cobalt. He's gonna do a, a backflip. <laughs> what? We'll need to make a What? I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> this, this is what I mean about Jordan being a really good sport and a fun guy. Like he's he's in the stage now to do 
Someone asked him to. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. I love you very much. 
and all the support that she has shown since then with, with all of this and like I said, the fact that uh, video games can actually turn into something productive. Um, and as far as Minecraft specifically, I guess Redstone would be the best thing to sort of show as a case study as to how a game can be educational in that people can build things like full-fledged calculators and ALUs using the binary redstone system in the game, which, I mean, you can use that in something like a computer science class to actually teach people how parts of computers function, and which completely applies to like, careers in the real world. So it's, it's amazing what you're able to do. Thank you very much. Awesome, so that's the close of the questions, but I need to talk to you guys in a second. We're going to have Jordan sign things. It has to be in a safe way. So the second that it stops being safe, we, we have to stop it because having a signature is awesome, but having a signature at the expense of someone getting hurt is just not going to happen. So you're going to have to, he's going to sign as many as he can, but there's no possible way he can sign. <laughs> Those of you who get it, be really thankful. Those of you who don't, I'm super sorry. It's not because he, he wouldn't stay all night, but it's just because that isn't feasible. So just be, be very safe. Don't be pushy. As I'm talking, you guys are pushing forwards, which is not really showing me right now that, that we're going to be doing this. Oh my God. This is it has to be out. If you're going to go up for a signature, be careful, because by the sound of it... No, I'm not... No. What, what if he doesn't have a Sharpie? What are you going to do? Come in. No. <laughs> Loads of people coming now. The one thing I don't understand is how about one guy got this way. So how was he like fucked? I'm getting there. 